Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about information processing theory which is a um, learning processing theory. So in information processing theory a learner receives the input from uh, environment through sensory memory, send it to the short term memory for further processing to create new information or knowledge and uh, send it to the long term memory for storage. Informations are processed, uh, developed and resides in the human memory. One of the key contributors um, in the field of information processing theory is Dr. Anderson who worked in Carnegie Mellon University and he uh, made con significant contribution in human cognition and computational uh, theory of mind. Another key contributor is Dr. Atkinson, who worked for Stanford University, and in 1977 he received the American Psychological Association Distinguished Scientific Contribution Award. He worked with one of his uh, students, Dr. Schiffrin, to develop the theory of human memory. They divided the memory into three uh, parts, uh, sensory memory, long-term memory, and short-term memory. Uh, in the bigger picture, information processing theory is more like computer information processing. Uh, it receives input, process the information, and uh, create new information in the form of output. So the first step in the information processing theory is to receive uh, environmental information uh, through the sensory memory. Sensory memory is very short-lived uh, and it received information through sight, hearing, taste, touch and smell but most of the information are uh, received through sight and hearing. Uh, the important factor here is to pay attention because if we do not pay attention then information may get lost in the process. Attention is the process of um, utilizing the limited resources uh, to perform uh, different competing tasks. So selective attention is the process of uh, choosing uh, some in input information in a selective way and ignoring some other at the same time in a simultaneous process. So once we pay attention to a input uh, information and make sense of it that get registered in the sensory memory and that is being pushed into short-term memory for further processing. Uh, short-term memory or working memory is the main workbench where it receives the input information from the sensory memory and receives um, additional information from the long-term memory, match the information, process it to create new information. Two of the key limitations of the working uh, memory are uh, memo the information in the working memory is very short-lived between 15 to 20 seconds and it can deal with only five plus minus two items at a time. So the real question is how to improve uh, the performance of the short-term memory. One of the technique is to do chunking or to create the big bit size of information. Another technique is to do encoding or relating the new information with the existing uh, more related information to make it more memorable. Uh, so short-term memory is always working closely with long-term memory. Uh, in long-term memory informations are also stored based on the uh, type or classification uh, two main categories are declarative uh, memory and procedural memory. Declarative memory deals with fact, whereas procedural memory deals with how to do things. Uh, declarative memory could be further uh, broken down into two pieces, episodic memory and semantic memory. Episodic memory deals with uh, a set of information related to an event or incident, uh, whereas semantic memory stores more general information and which are event agnostic. Uh, so uh, in the context of information processing theory, forgetting is a very in important element. Uh, forgetting may take place in sensory memory due to lack of attention, in short-term memory due, uh, if we fail to encode, and in long-term memory uh, due to retrieval failure or um, even incorrect encoding. So in summary, uh, in information processing theory we receive the information through sensory memory 
as uh, input and then uh, we send it to the working memory which uh, brings more information from the long-term memory process information uh, to produce new information in the form of response and encode the new information and send it back to the long-term memory for um, storage and future retrieval. In the bigger picture, there are three kinds of learning processing theory, um, behavioral learning, cognitive learning uh, theories, and social learning theories, and information processing theory falls under the cognitive learning theories. So the fundamental difference between cognitive learning theories and behavioral learning theories are in behavioral learning theory, the main focus is to develop new behavior. And in cognitive learning theories, the main focus is to create new mental representation of information. Memory loss is real and um, I hope one day we will find out uh, permanent cures of memory loss and I hope a lot of new research and funding will be dedicated uh, to cure the memory loss. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, that's it.